Hey guys, so today I have a huge haul and surprisingly I didn't spend that much money. So I'm going to show you um, the first store I went to. I did a lot of um, back to school shopping for my son today and he's officially back to school tomorrow. So I needed to pick him up just um, a pair of jeans and um, like a pair of sneakers because they have to change sneakers from inside to outside and um, yeah so I picked him up a few things from Winners that was our first stop so I'm just gonna show you the couple of things I got from Winners he's very particular when it comes to his footwear as in socks and sneakers obviously so I picked him up these Zoo York socks they look like that and they're really thin they were $7.99 compared to $20 which is crazy and they're black and they only go to like above his ankle and there's 10 pairs in it and they're very thin like they're not a thick thick sock like they're really nice and thin and they don't have that big bulky um, like threading on the toe which drives him nuts and it has the you know little New York symbol on the foot even though he doesn't really care about it and neither do I but 10 pairs of socks for $7.99 compared to $20. That was amazing. So yeah, that was the first thing I got at Winners. And I'm just going to put everything back in the bag. Just because I don't want to get dog fur on it. Because my vacuum cleaner um, pooped out this morning. So The next thing I got was this totally cute Converse hoodie. And it's so super soft. Oh my god, I wish they made this in my size. But yeah, it's like a light blue, not like a light blue, but it's not showing up really good in this picture or camera. So comparable at, it was $30, I got it for $16.99, and look how cute. My little munchkin one is like shaggy surfer blonde hair. He's going to look so cute in this. Love yeah. it. Totally cute. And then the next thing I got, and I almost died when I seen these. Are these cute little Levi's look how cute they're the 514s straight leg Levi's look at the cute little bum on them they were $32 and again I got them for $16.99 oh my god I could have died they're so cute and I love the wash on these totally cute right oh so cute all right and then we were walking around and I seen some Halloween stuff. And let me tell you, Halloween is like Christmas for me. So um, I always decorate the outside of my house. I never really do anything to the inside of my house. And, um, you know, we just moved here in January. So I figure why not do some stuff to the inside of my house too. So let me tell you, look what I found. It's this beautiful house and it weighs a ton. It's like a humongous candle holder. It was $42. I got it for $29.99. Look how amazing this thing is. Check it out. It's got this cool tree. I mean, look at it. And then you put this candle, like a candle on the inside. So I'm just going to put like uh, one of those can like, can like flameless candles. But I mean, look at the detail. And it's got like sparkles and everything on it. I love it. It's huge. I love it. It's so, and it's heavy, like super heavy. So that was the stuff that I got at Winners. We like scoured the city for shoes for my son because I didn't want to spend a lot of money on shoes, but whatever. Anyway, we went to Value Village and I'm going to be um, rostering at my son's school for Halloween. So Halloween day, I'm actually like being a volunteer at my son's school. So he's dressing up as Luigi for Halloween. It's actually on Halloween day, so how excited am I? And I'm gonna be Princess Peach. So I ordered my costume online as well as my son. He ordered, I ordered his costume online as well because they didn't have either of the costumes at Spirit Halloween in our city. So we ordered our costumes online and then I noticed that she wears gloves, like white gloves. Yeah, white. So, um, I actually went to Value Village, not even looking for gloves. I was looking for, what was I looking for? I don't even know. But I went there, oh, yes. combat boots for my husband's um, Halloween costume. But I didn't find combat boots, but I did find Princess Peach's white gloves. 
because I looked, I was looking at our pictures to like get um, the makeup for the tutorial or like a tutorial that I'm going to be doing, Princess Peach makeup. And I'm going to be erasing my eyebrows, like everything. So keep, you know, keep an eye out for it because I am going to be practicing and stuff like that really soon. So yeah, she wears white gloves. So I bought me some white gloves and these can be really expensive, like $20, $30. I got them for $6.99, right? So yay, that's the only thing that I bought at Value Village. Yay. yay. And then me and my son went to the children's place again looking for sneakers. We found the most amazing like sneakers there. They look just like the DCs that my son's obsessed with, but um, they didn't have any other size, so. But we did find the most amazing little fall jacket and he loved it and it's like the comfiest thing ever um so yeah this is his jacket that he got look how cute it is it's so cute it's like a little llama jacket and it's totally lined in this super soft like furry I don't know what it is it's kind of like microfiber ish but oh my god I love it and I do find children's place kind of expensive because this was $39.95, like no sale on this, but it's so totally cute and he looks so totally cute in it. I love it. And then he likes being comfy wumpy. So I did get him this Gate University Athletics um, cute little shirt just to bum around in. And this was, dear Lord, how much was this? $16.95, which is like totally crazy, but he does need a long sleeve shirt. And then these jog and pants, which whoosh, they were $19.95, but they're really thick. They're really nice. And he's had jog and pants from the children's place before and they Excuse last me, forever. Ma. Yeah, sweetie. I have to go through. No, you can walk around the table. Kids. But yeah, they last forever and they're lined like really thick fleece. So they're nice and warm too. Yay. Yeah. I put this in the garbage too. Yep. So yeah, that's what we got from the children's place. So he has this fall jacket and stuff like that, which is really good. And those jackets are so, so warm. So. And I got Yay. a gun. Yeah. A two-year gun. Mm -hmm. So his sneakers. Can't believe I got him these sneakers, but he's had them before and he loves them and they're Luigi Green. And yeah. My kid is obsessed. <laughs> I just got hit in the head with a dart. <laughs> Don't hit mommy with darts. That's not nice. <laughs> it was funny. Not nice though, sweetie. Mommy's trying to make a video. <laughs> Silly mommy. Where's the kitty? Go find the kitty and get her with the foam dart. She likes playing with that stuff. But yeah. anyway, my son's sneakers. <laughs> his DC shoes. This is the second pair of these. DC shoes, yeah. Yeah, DCs. They're his favorite ones. He's so excited about them. I love them too. I wish they made them in my size, but unfortunately, they don't. Well, maybe they do. I don't know. But yeah, I think they're totally awesome. He looks so cute in them, and yeah, he's gonna rock it out again this year with his DC. Uh, yeah. Pretty crazy, hey? Like he's not even five, and this he's gone through two pairs of DCs. But anyway, Slade, stop it. Yeah. I'm gonna take that gun away from you. Okay, one dirt gone. No. Well, stop throwing it at me. Sure, bear. Oh my god, this is like everybody's attacking me video. Take it and get. All right. My very last stop was the Dollarama, and I went there for um, bubble wrap because I'm sending my sister a couple of bottles of wine um, from my wine tour that I did last month. And I needed bubble wrap because I don't want anything to happen to this wine because this wine is like totally amazing. Aww. Anyway, I got me the bubble wrap and then I got a whole yeah. lot of other things. So, but I spent less money at the dollar store than I did on these sneakers, which is totally sad. That's enough! Okay. So my sister also has a couple of dogs. I'm serious. 
get! No. <laughs> I'm gonna take it away from you next time you shoot me with it. Anyway, um, my dog's obsessed with rubber chickens and yeah. watch. Yeah. Don't, because you're gonna knock over yeah. my thing. Let's see how excited. Sugar Bears just went outside. Watch this, listen. for my sister's two dogs and I know that they're just gonna totally destroy it and then I also got them one of these like um oh tag or tag oh she's gone outside with a rubber chicken she's gonna go tease the neighbor dog watch is she no she's gone the other way um tug of war things because they like to play tug of war so I got that for my sister's doggies I got some scrubby sponges just because um my stove top is starting to look a little and I gotta clean it I also got some onion powder because I'm all out and I needed some. Oh my God, these things are so good, ocean creatures. I get them for my son for his snacks at school. He loves them and I actually like them too. They're really good. So yeah, we got that. All right, I got um, a little Spider-Man snack box for like um, just little grapes or you know whatnot. It was only $1.50. And he has a Spider-Man lunchbox, so yay. Sorry for the noise in the background. I got six of these SpaghettiOs because who doesn't love SpaghettiOs? Oh my God. I used to eat these when I was a kid. Okay, well, he doesn't like SpaghettiOs. But anyway, um, I used to eat these when I was a kid and then I haven't had them for like 20 years or longer. And I found them at the Dollarama. So yay for the Dollarama. Into the trick or treating stuff, I got this little yard steak sign. It was only two dollars. Don't shoot that thing towards me, Slade. Um, it says trick or treat, and I'm gonna put it right at the very end of the yard because um, last year the house was here, but they were still just like building it or whatever. So the kids, um, you know, they didn't come around or whatever. But I want them to know that there's people here, and I give out damn good treats. So yeah. And I'm going to have like lights everywhere. And seriously, I am going to um, be vlogging my decorating and stuff like that. Because I go so all out, you don't even understand. Like, the only thing that's missing from my house is a hearse. And I'm telling you, in the next few years, my ass will own a hearse. I'm not even joking. I actually belong to an association. It's the Bone Wagon Association of Edmonton. Mama. Yeah. I'm yearning for a hearse. Inside, I got some of these cute little lights. Yeah, spider lights. One's a skull hands, and then one's spiders. And then I got two orange ones that are spiders. Aren't they cute? It just has like a little battery pack, and you just kind of turn it on or whatever, right? So totally cute. And then to go around the graveyard that I have, I'm going to be making are these crazy hands. Yeah, Aren't they cute? The and when you fence. put them all together, it looks like this. The first fence. My front yard's not that big, which is good because I have so much. But it's gonna completely um, go. This is gonna completely go around my front yard. So I'm totally excited about it. Oh my god, it's gonna look so amazing! I cannot wait for you guys to see it. So I think I got like 16. Oh, yeah. or, can you stop? No. no. I got like 16 or 18 of these. So yeah. So excited. And they were only $1.50 each as well. So yeah, where's my other things? That little dude better put them in here. Oh yeah, he did. Okay. I got one of these little stands or whatever that says boo. 
I think it's awesome because it'll match this like so cutely. Oh, is it cute? And then I got another one that says, where is it? You put that back there. Hang on. That says spooky. Isn't it cute? Oh my God, I love it. I see say spooky. I'm so excited because the inside of my house is going to look just as good as the outside of my house this year. And then I got these wall sticker things. Let me move back. I got these wall sticker things. See? One is like little bats and stuff. See how cute that's going to look on the wall. And then I got like a witch. I'm totally going to decorate my walls and stuff too. I really decorate my entryway and like everything when I give out treats. And I get dressed up too when I give out treats. Like I'm not just like in my normal clothes giving out treats. Like I've never done that ever. I dress up full costume, full everything to give out treats. Like it's totally amazing. I get so excited. Okay, you see that one on the wall? And, and then this one, which I love because it reminds me of my haunted house. Totally cute, right? Yeah, haunted house. Ah, and these were a dollar fifty each, I think, or maybe two dollars, two dollars each. See, like little spiders and spider webs. Totally cute. Ah! I'm excited to decorate the inside of my house. I've never done it. Mama. Just like my entry, entry, entryway, or whatever, right? Mama. Slade, don't put your gun in there. He's going to break it. Mm. But yeah, shopping with Slade is never fun. As a previous video of mine said. So he's very strung out. And I'm very ah, right now. But anyway, I hope you like my haul. Slade, stop. <sighs> <laughs> I'm putting a fire in there. I'm going to put a fire somewhere. Anyway, I hope you like my haul, and um, I'm going to be doing uh, some tutorials, like makeup tutorials here coming up real quick, so keep an eye out for that. And yeah, please comment, like, subscribe, and share so we can get to 500 subscribers, everybody. And yeah, till next time.